another episode of the Hatfield and McCoy trail riding series from West Virginia. We're picking up where we left off in the last episode and we're still on the Bear Wallow trail system. We're currently on Black Trail 85 and this is a much more technical trail than the last one we were on. You can tell they've had a lot of rain. Yeah. The trail's all washed out. So stay tuned, there's some great sections of trail coming up. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. currently working our way through a few trails so that we can get to trail 71 which is a black trail we want to hit going down. If you pay attention to the left and off the side of most of these trails there's some serious drops. You guys made some good comments in previous videos mentioning that if you do break down really badly on some of these trails you are really far from a road so you need to keep that in mind before you push the bar. Recoveries around here can get pretty difficult. found our way to trail 71 which is what we were looking for and this looks wicked. This trail is super scenic and I mean it's just awesome driving down these trails especially the water rushing down here. It is so cool. Now, I hope you guys enjoy this because we had a ton of fun on this section of trail. mind we don't really know these trails all that well most of us have been here three or four times over the years but when we point out a trail and, and we know we want to hit a black trail we don't always know which direction we're gonna hit it or, or which side we're gonna hit it from so we kind of just show up and then we deal with what we've got in front of us sometimes it's up sometimes it's down
I know you guys are hearing it. It's impossible not to. Squeaky, 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 the Polaris squeak. What you're mostly hearing is the shock bushings on this machine that have 7,000 miles on them and need to be replaced. Um, and you're also hearing the rear sway bar shearing itself off of the frame. You'll get a little bit more info and a shot of that later on though. ride you need to service your shocks, you need to change the oil in them, you need to maintain them. I've been abusing mine. I've only ever changed the oil in them once at around 4,000-ish miles and I've never rebuilt them, never replaced the seals. I've been having a bit of issues with them lately so it's just not something I wanted to mess with before this trip so I was just hoping that everything would hold together and it's something I addressed once we got home. In theory, you should be changing the oil at least in your suspension every two to 3,000 miles or annually if you ride harder. It's an area that tons of people overlook and it has massive impacts on the performance of your vehicle. The front camera angle kind of makes everything look flat because of how the camera is mounted. You can't really see how big the drops and the rocks are here, but this trail is badass. We were having so much fun. You can't really go much faster than this or you will bash the bottom of your machine apart. The skid plates, the rock sliders, the A-arms, they were all taking hits here. You need to pay attention to your surroundings around here. One bad placement of the wheel and you smack an A-arm, especially if you're on stock arms, and you can fold that thing and then you are in a world of hurt trying to get out of this trail.
this was one of those trails that just kept going and going and going and you think it's gonna stop but it just keeps going and it I mean you don't want it to end it's so much fun if you are coming out on trails like this I recommend running at least a 30 inch tire you're gonna be into some serious issues with ground clearance and you're 100% gonna want an aftermarket skid plate those stock belly pans just cannot put up to this abuse I bet hitting this in like the rain would be so cool with the water rushing down the mountain here. It, it would just be badass. And I mean, going up this, I mean, that's like a whole day just on this trail. I mean, I really want to come back here and try it because I really think we can get through most of these sections. You might have to winch in a few spots, but if you take your time, you should be able to make it out most of these spots. Hey, are they way back there? Oh, man, I feel like a milkshake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Corny, what are you thinking of this? It is what I signed up for, boys and girls. <laughs> man, that is fucking epic. That was fun. That was awesome. You think we can make it up? I think we could. New York Mike.
watch the videos. There's nothing cooler than being on the videos. You're gonna have to come join us out, guys. Get a taste of the action firsthand. How's it doing? Hey, it's doing Isn't this wild? Cool, man. This is great. <laughs> This trail is wicked, eh? Oh, yeah, it's awesome. It'd be fun to go up. We, were gonna, we, we went the wrong way, so we might have to turn around and go up. Oh, well, that'd be perfect. I know. <laughs> Are you the last guy? Isn't this awesome? Yeah. You hear the front end? I Dude, heard the back. Like crunch, crunch, crunch. My rear end's making tons of noise from the sway bar, but it's like my front walls or uh, front wheel bearings are dry. You having fun? Oh, yeah. I got a, I got some good news for you. What's we that? might have gone the wrong way and might have to go turn around and go back. I'm in. I'll go first. <laughs> Man. I'll go first. <laughs> you thought that was bad news? Yeah. You're on the wrong ride. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Man, this is what, what I signed up for on this trip. Yeah, this is a this, really cool ride. This we don't get to do at home. No. no. Like, hey, Alex, push back and forth with me. Listen. We got click. Not yeah. Click, That's not a wheel bearing. That okay. sounds more like a, an axle or some sort of like a, a joint. Mine makes all sorts of noises like that. I was that. thinking CV. It's got all those balls in there to click. I'd right say there. you can go ahead and ignore it. Yeah, it, it's bad enough. You gotta listen to it a little. We'll yeah. worry about if when you it. gotta look for it, it's not there. Yeah. We'll worry about it when the wheel comes yeah. off. You know what the most annoying thing on these pros are? What? Rear sway bars, man. Squeaky, squeaky. Yeah, my my only issue right now is coming from my sway bar. I knew the bushings were yeah. sloppy, but I didn't know how bad. Okay, we took a little breather break. Got a few beverages in us to get hydrated. Everyone's here now, no issues, and we're gonna keep rolling.
Okay, let's get real, guys. How can you not love this? This trail right here alone is worth coming to West Virginia for. This is just freaking amazing. It feels like you're on another planet here. I just, you heard me saying, I don't wanna leave, I just wanna stay here forever. This is just another prime example of why side-by-sides and the hobby of off-roading are so amazing. Where else do you get to experience something like this? And to boot, you're doing it with some of your best friends out here in the wilderness having the time of your lives. You really gotta stop and think how lucky we all are to be able to enjoy things like this. Whether you're in Canada or the United States, North America in general, it's just such an amazing place to live. Um, and, and we really have so much. And sometimes I think we all just take it for granted. So, so it's important to just ground yourself and realize how awesome we've really got it.
were just joking about Cole wanting to get his ATV and try this. Uh, I would not want to try driving down this on an ATV. That's just insanity. comment guys let us know which machines your favorite let us know what you want to see what you like the most let me know if you tried going up or down this trail and if you like the bear wallow trail system have you ridden in west virginia if so what's your favorite trail system and where do you think we should go next um, i'd really like to check out the ivy branch because i've heard that trail network is very similar to bear wallow and um, there's a whole ton of outlaw trails I'd also love to check out in West Virginia. So next time we get out here, I'm hoping to hook up with some locals. So if you're out, if you're local to the area, I know a bunch of you guys watch these videos and hit me up uh, because I'd, I'd really love to experience West Virginia from your point of view. Oh, nice. I got a new dent in my rock slider. That's a good one. Nice memory. I'm gonna say this one more time. That was epic. That was probably one of the best trails we hit on this trip. I had so much fun on it. All the other guys did too. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already because it really helps the videos rank. It helps us do better. We just hit 75,000 subscribers yesterday. So thank you guys. What a huge milestone. I could not have done this without you. If you're not subscribed yet, then what the heck are you waiting for? If this video doesn't want to get you to subscribe, I think you might be in the wrong place. If you'd like to get more involved in the conversation and stay up to date behind the scenes, then make sure you follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. The conversations on Facebook are always pretty fun. There's a lot of engagement there, so if you enjoy this stuff and you enjoy the videos, you'll enjoy your time there. On top of that, if you'd like to support the channel, then please head on over to our Shopify store. If you do so, please give me a week or two at least to dispatch your orders. I am not Amazon, but your orders will arrive. It just might take two to three weeks. There's tons of cool stickers and shirts on there and I'll be adding a ton more stock now that spring is here. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. Ride safe out there. See you in the next video.